Here we are going to now finally do the next and most important step of mating the engine to the transmission. We've now bolted on the thing that spins, which is the flex plate, which you can see down here, and this spins with the engine. And then we have the transmission, which has the torque converter, which as you can see here, spins freely right behind. It's the round thing. What we're going to do is we're going to use these bolts and we're going to spin the flex plate by spinning the crankshaft on the front with a uh, breaker bar and a uh, socket. Which size socket is it? The 24, 24 millimeter. millimeter socket. And so as you can see, when he spins that, it spins the flex plate right there and then there are holes in the flex plate and you can see that the mounting holes in the flex plate are where these rectangular little bosses are and you'll see just a little rectangular shape with a hole in the middle don't confuse it for the holes that if you'll spin it a little bit more Mike don't confuse it for the holes that are holes but are not with bosses around them so back the other way please and then what happens is I will move the torque converter just a little bit and I keep going he's spinning it back 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 stop and you can see we've now lined up the torque converter with the hole where the boss is and then we slide in one little bolt and then what we're going to do here is we're going to take the next bolt we tighten it in by hand just a little bit but not too much and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the next bolt and i'm going to ask him to spin this all the way around to the one that is on the very far other side of the torque converter and the flex plate go ahead and spin mike and you can see now that the torque converter is spinning with the flex plate because it's got one bolt in it. And as he goes around to the far other side, one more. And a little more. About half as much. A little more. A little more. Okay, and now we can see the next hole and the next emboss. And I put in this next one. And what we've done is we've just put in hand tight bolts on both opposite ends. And then we're going to do that same procedure by going back a little bit, Mike. And effectively what we're doing is we're emplacing uh, the uh, holes and the bolts in a star pattern. Keep going back a little bit more to make sure that we can get all of them into the threads and line them up. Keep going back some more. Keep going. Keep going. Same speed. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. And I hand place this one in. Okay, let's go back around to the other side. Very important step, because keep going, because keep going, because you can manage to get all of the bolts in and the last one will not go in if you've tightened the first five down. Stop. Okay, and then I'll place this one. And then Mike, if you could go uh, one second. Now it's hand tight, go back in the other direction. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and keep going a little more. And stop. It's very important that you give the right commands to the builder trainer at this time because your fingers are in there and he doesn't know that they're in there. And so until you've pulled your fingers away, don't tell him to move along. All right, Mike, same direction. Go all the way around to the final side. And we will now put in the final bolt all the way around when he gets there. <clears throat> and then we will begin to tighten the process up, stop, of tightening this up.